Welcome back to Android Tutorials and in this video I am going to give you a 11 methods or ways to add the Facebook ads in our Android application to get maximum income. So let's begin with our today's Android Tutorial and I am also going to give you the free source code of this video in the description soon. So please make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can download a free source code. And now let me show you the demo and we are going to add the industrial ad like this and Facebook ad in our application. And this will take some time so please watch this video completely. Now let's begin our today's Android tutorial. So in previous tutorial I had said you I am going to give the demo so in that demo I had said that you have to add create a new project then you have to move downward and here you can see that there is one implementation to save our time I had already coded my all 11 methods so if you want these 11 methods of Facebook ad implementation then you will get the free source code. So without wasting time let's begin. In my builder gradle file you can see that I had implementation of a Facebook audience network. Then move to android manifest file. As we are loading an ads so we need an internet permission. So add uses internet permission and also add this activity and this line of code in your application. This line of code. Then a manifest file and a build or gradle file work will done. So I am going to close that files and now moving to our main activity. I had first created my activity main with uh, four things. First is one button, one text view and uh, three linear layouts. I am going to tell you all these things now only. So first you can see that here is our linear layout with orientation vertical. And for demo purpose, I had added a text that this is a Facebook ad tutorial. Next, I had given it some margin, uh, make some text size and text color, and make them a center horizontal. Next, I had added one button, so this will also a part of implementation. In this 11 method, this is also 1. Next, I had made one linear layout with id small banner add and its width will be match parent, its height will be web content, make them orientation vertical and give it 10 dp margin. And then copy this same layout 3 times and just change its id. And in uh, layout exit dialog, I had created a exit confirmation dialog custom. So you have to create this also. So in my exit layout, exit layout dialog, I have one text view with title exit confirmation, one button that is saying yes second is no and finally our ad layout and also if you enjoy this video then please make sure you subscribe this channel and like and share this android tutorial now move to our 11 methods of facebook ad implementation so here first you add these four things first is private static final long timer that I had said 7 seconds I will tell you what this work and then add some add view and this add view import is Facebook only so let me show you that 
here you can see that for facebook and then industrial ad and schedule executor service so moving to our first method that is small banner first you have to add this audience network dot initialize this now in small banner i made this 11 method separately so that you can get an idea how this work first is small banner for small banner i had loaded our ad view small banner ad that we had make globally here and is equal to new ad view and pass the context this and then to show you the demo purpose i had added this line of code but instead of this you have to remove this these things and add your placement id then give its banner size so our ad size dot banner height 50 banner height 90 and banner height 250 means small banner then i added small error small banner and then our large banner so in the same way i had made all these types of banner second banner is a large banner and third we have a rectangular banner so this was our first second and third banners next third methods next i had added load ads this load ads is type of industrial ad so in that you can see that i had added a industrial ad over here so this basically works like industrial ad is equal to find view by id not here find view by id new industrial ad then make them context this and change your here my current string with your placement id and then industrial ad dot load industrial ad dot build load ad config dot build with this method you will load industrial ad and we are not going to create this ad uh, again and again so i had declared it as a first method and whenever activity starts we can see the ad that is load ads method so this was fourth method fifth method is in click listener suppose we have some buttons that perform some actions but we can add a click listener on that button then we can add load ad function this will generate an ad and display it so let me find that code okay so that in click listener ad is here here you can see that button button is equal to find view by id click here button and in that set on click listener load ads so this load ads basically works here that create new ad and display it and then we have to move to our next method that is schedule industrial ad so before we move to this ad i want you to subscribe this channel and press that bell icon next we have to move downwards and add one method that name is on destroyed method here if any kind of ads is loaded then first we have to destroy that so that we will avoid extra ads next method is very much important if you are creating an ebook app or any pdf books app so schedule industrial ad means after every interval user will see an ad suppose if we had decide 
after every minute we have to show a add then we will do that so here add schedule executor service is equal to executors dot new single thread scheduled executor so with the help of this new single thread scheduled executor we can do that so for that we add schedule at fix rate means after every fix rate between 10 10 seconds or minute here you can see the time limit but for demo purpose I had added seconds you can also add milliseconds microseconds milliseconds and as many as so in that we have to write run on UI thread in UI thread we will run if industrial add is loaded then we are going to show else we are going to log add not loaded then we will load our add so like this way you can do that but in on stop method you have to stop this schedule because if we don't stop this schedule then our application will continue generate ads when user running their application in background so here we have to take care of that and next we have is in listener is completed so let me check yes and now add in handler means we have to just see a add for one time only but when after some time means if suppose one new activity is started and we want a add after 10 seconds and then stop no more ads then we can use this handler method new handler dot post delayed and in run method simply say load ads and timer whatever you want after that time our ad will show up and then we have completed this direct thing but now in on back press method we have two ways suppose if you are in activity then you can use this if industrial ad is loaded then show else we are going to on back press but if we are in main activity then we can do that same thing in alert dialog so alert dialog dot builder builder is equal to new alert dialog builder pass the context this and next you can see that view view is equal to layout inflator from this inflate r dot layout exit dialog so here is our layout exit dialog and fan view by id main layout and builder dot set view so here we had set view and dialog we had created next view dot fan view by id so in here if user click on that yes button then we are going to finish all these things else we are going to dismiss our dialog but in that also we can show the ads with the help of this same banner implementation method and simply say dialog dot show so with the help of these 11 steps you can show the many ads in your application and earn a maximum revenue so if you enjoyed this android tutorial then please make sure you like and share this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe this channel we had also created uh, many android tutorials on android app development so you can watch that out also and uh, don't forget to subscribe soon we are going to make some new and interesting application so be with android tutorial thanks for watching Facebook Ads Implementation